Hi everyone, I'm Zoe Canella reporting for Kids First and today I'll be reviewing Raising Dion. This Netflix series kind of brings a little bit of everything for the whole family. Comedy, drama, you name it, this series has got it. It's like, honestly, I didn't really know much about Raising Dion. I haven't heard anything, no commercials or anything. But when I saw it, I was actually surprised that I really did like it. It is about a girl named Nicole who is a single mom and is raising a boy, her son, named Dion. That's where the name of the series comes from. Yeah, but Dion is a normal kid until one day he like spills cereal and then it just starts floating and he's making that happen. That's how kind of how um, the story starts unfolding, how he discovers he has superpowers. Like, that's really cool, but like kind of scary at the same time. Um, after that, she's kind of like still dealing with the loss of her husband, who Mark, and Dion doesn't really know much about it. She's kind of talking with Mark's best friend named Pat, and then basically the whole story is kind of figuring out what to do with him. People think she's crazy and everything, and I did really like the whole storyline. I feel like it's very unique because we do hear a lot about superheroes, but one, this is a kid, two... I just never really seen anything like this and I thought it was really cool. This series, as I said in the beginning, has so many different genres. It has science fiction, comedy, drama, and in the beginning, it's kind of, like the first episode is kind of discovering all of this, more of the science fiction side. Oh, and I, one thing that I did love, um, usually in series it says episode one, episode two, episode three. Um, here, it said issue one, issue two, issue three, issue four, which I thought was really funny because like every episode is kind of a different issue and I thought that was very creative of them, but what was I saying? Yeah, <laughs> at the beginning of the series it's more science fiction and then towards the end it's where more action starts coming in and it becomes like more exciting and I kind of like that at the beginning it's like slow and then it kind of just whoosh. I did get the amazing opportunity to talk to Jason Reeder, who plays Pat, and Aisha Rainwright, who is Dion's mom, Nicole. They are super friendly, and everyone's performance was amazing. It was very realistic and natural, not like overdoing it or anything, um, which I thought was actually important, because if this is like a series that anyone can watch, it's, I feel like it's important to be relatable to the kids. Like younger kids were watching, like teens, every, like every category of the family. Jeshaya Young, who plays Dion, he was amazing. Um, I feel like his acting in this film, like for being that young and then being on this, it kind of like, it can kind of freak you out. But I feel like he just did an amazing job. He definitely, like, I definitely believe that this little boy was actually Dion. And then Dion's best friend in the series is Esperanza. Esperanza is this adorable little like disabled girl and um, she is played by Sammy. Sammy was amazing. Probably my favorite character of the entire thing. Um, I love that Netflix, like this series of Netflix, brought in like a disabled character because like that, I feel like that's like so special and so sweet. And she was just like, an, she did amazing and I... Definitely believed her as well. As I said, everyone was very believable. But yeah, she's definitely one of my favorite characters. I am excited for season two, but I felt like they were trying to add too much stuff to the series to kind of maybe lose focus. I would definitely give this film a four out of five stars and recommend it for ages 10 to 18. And I think that the message of this series is that we should... Find the powers within ourselves, but, but be responsible and kind of handle things in the right manner. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters. Bye-bye.